a curve has a gradient function f dash x is equal to 12x squared minus 2x plus 1. The curve passes through the point 1 comma 3. Find the equation of the curve. So what is given? <coughs> so f dash x or dy by dx is given. f dash x is nothing but dy by dx is given to be 12x squared minus 2x plus 1. So this is a gradient function. And from this gradient function, we want to find dy by dx. And there's also one more information that uh, you've got the curve is passing through 1 comma 3. And the question is, what is f of x? The question is, what is the function? Or find the equation of the curve. OK, so as you might be knowing, when you have a function, you can differentiate and you get the gradient function. And integration is the opposite of uh, differentiation. So you can say f of x, the function f of x, is integration of dy by dx. OK, oh, let me write f of x is the integration of f dash x dx. So if you integrate the gradient function with respect to x, you get back the function. OK, so this is something that you need to remember function f of x or the function or the equation of the curve you get by integrating the gradient function okay so the gradient function is given to be this so let's integrate that so this is equal to integration of f dash x or dy by dx is 12 x squared minus 2x plus 1 dx okay so you can distribute this integration to each of the terms separately, so you can, this is the same as writing 12x squared dx minus integration of 2x dx. I'll write 2x to the power dx plus integration of 1. I'm going to write as 1x to the power 0 dx. Okay, so using the po uh, polynomial rule, when integrating, you increase the power by 1 and divide by the same power. So this is 12x cubed divided by 3 minus 2x squared divided by 2 plus 1x to the power 1 divided by 1 plus c, which is the constant of integration. Okay, so we can let us simplify this. So therefore, you can say this implies f of x is 12x cubed divided by 3 is nothing but 4x cubed. 2 and 2 gets cancelled, so this is minus x squared plus x plus c. Okay, now what do we know? We know when x is when x is 1, your y is 4. When x is 1, y is equal to 4. So let's substitute that. When x is 1, or when x is 1, you can say f of x. Or uh, let me write this. This is nothing but f of x is nothing but this is equal to y. Okay. So I'll not confuse you by writing f of x is 1. f of x is 3, isn't it? f of x is 3. So when x is 1, your y is 3. So let me use a different color, a neutral color. So I'm going to substitute 1 in, one in place of x and 3 in place of y. So this implies... I can say 4 times 1 cube minus 1 squared plus 1 plus c is equal to 3. Okay, so this is 4 times 1 cube is 4 minus 1 plus 1 plus c is equal to 3. So negative 1 and plus 1 gets cancelled, so I can say c plus 4 is equal to 3. This implies c is equal to taking away 4 from both sides is negative 1. So your constant c is negative 1. So let's understand the question. Okay, so what are we saying? So your y, y is, what's the function? It is 4x cubed. This is 4x cubed minus x squared plus x minus 1 is your function. Okay, now to check your answer, it's good to graph this. 
I'll also go to the table menu and we need to confirm when x is 1, y should be 3. Okay, so let's graph this. Go to the graph menu and type in 4x cubed minus x squared plus x minus 1. Okay, it's a cubic equation. It goes like this. Okay, so I'll go g solve and y calc when x is 1. When x is 1, your y is 3. So you, we have confirmed the answer. Okay, I want you to do these two questions. Okay, I'll read the question. So the curve has an x-intercept of negative 2 and a gradient of gradient function divided by dx is x minus 2. Find the equation of the curve. Okay, so let us do this. Okay, so what is given? So it's always good to write what is given. So you've got dy by dx is equal to x minus 2. Okay, and you want to find your x-intercept. x-intercept is x-intercept is negative 2, which means you can say x-intercept. x-intercept is equal to negative 2. This implies your, your point is minus 2 comma 0. Okay, and the question is you want to find y is equal to something. You want to find the equation of the curve y is equal to x or something form of x. So here again as we saw y is integration of dy by dx. Integration of dx. Okay, so this is your gradient function. When you're differentiating with respect to x, you get y. So this is equal to integration of, I'm going to write this as x to the power 1 minus 2x to the power 0 dx. So I'm going to directly integrate individually. So this is x squared over 2 minus 2x to the power 1 over 1 plus c. So we can say y is x squared over 2, or you can also write this as half x squared minus 2x plus c. So now to figure out c, we know that when x is negative 2, y is 0. So we know when x is negative 2, your y is 0. So we're going to substitute this back in this equation. <coughs> so this becomes 0 is equal to negative 2 squared over 2 minus 2 times negative 2 plus c. It's always good to put negatives in the bracket. So this is this is 4 over 2. So let me write 4 over 2. This is plus 4 plus c. Okay, so this is 0 is equal to, this is 4 over 2 is 2 plus 4 plus c. This implies 0 is equal to 6 plus c. So your c is negative 6. C is negative 6. So the equation is y is equal to x squared over 2, x squared over 2 minus 2x minus 6. So let's confirm it. That is graph it. Uh, delete. So this is x squared divided by 2 minus 2x minus 6. Okay, so this is a parabola. And your x-intercept is minus 2. So your g-sol and root. Can you see your x-intercept is minus 2. Okay. The next example is something that you can do yourself as a practice. Go through the same process. The gradient is given to be 3 minus 4x minus 6x squared. And the, cow and the curve passes through negative 1, negative 2. Find the equation of the curve. 